A.J. Smith dials it up. Garber swings it out. Anthony McFarlane, their starting running back, has a first down, and he's passed the 45. Part. NASCAR part. The Brahma's signature play. Handoff for John Lovett. Finds a seam, and he should have enough for a first down. He does a gain of 11. Obviously going to be empty as well. It's a screen for Kirkland. Up the sideline, puts the head down, sits up third and short. On third and two, they hand it back to Lovett. Squeezing inside there, and he's got the first down. He wants to get off the field and get a breather here, I think. Third down and 10. Garbers throws left side. It is caught by Kirkland. It'll bring up fourth down. Brad Wing to hold. Rex Sunahara to snap it. And Santoso from 35 is good. It's Mateo Durant who went over the century mark last week. Sheds a tackle, puts the shoulder down, has a nice gain on first. Jordan Mosley finally stopped. Orlando, After a gain of eight on first down, it's a fresh set as Marcel Aitman brings it in. The top receiver in the UFL. They just get the snap off from their cheetah set with no running backs. It's McCarron, a bullet over the middle. It is caught for a first down. It's Darius Shepard inside the 40, a gain of 13. You're listening to Jordan Williams from San Antonio, their linebacker. They swing it out quickly to Hakeem Butler. What a run after the catch for the 6 6. Lewis. Yeah, former fourth round pick of the Arizona Cardinals. He broke his hand in training camp with the Cardinals. Felt like he didn't get an opportunity, but when you're go, six foot six, hey. it doesn't matter who you're going again. Hey. On third and goal, McCarron flushed on his feet. Touchdown! Karen to throw for it. He's got it. Butler left alone in the middle. Out past the 40, first down Battlehawks. Battlehawks converted from 10 and from 7. McCarron unloads. He's got another completion and with forward progress. He knows he doesn't have to climb Ocho because it's only a two or three yard gain you need. You saw the true line. No measurement necessary. The true line says first down and on first down, Butler waltzing in. Touchdown, St. Louis. 20-yard strike. So McCarron runs for one and finds Butler for another. Jake Sutherland, dominant. Then you go to Akeem Butler, the 6'6", fourth-round pick. McCarron was 7 of 8 on the drive. Little shovel pass for two. Slade, he plays for him. He misses them. They're back home, but he's here. But he scored touchdowns. Did it in week one. Could hear Dean as well as he was up on the big screen. On first and ten, McFarlane. Give him five out to midfield. We see some extra TJ Pesafea and Antoine Jackson today. On second and five, it's Marquez Stevenson. Got back up and gained nothing. Third down coming. Let's go back down to Storm. Third and short. It's Lovett. First through for a first down inside the 30. St. Louis offense humming. Brahma's looking for an answer. Love at the back behind Garbers. They go to the option, and he slides down at the 15. Safe with a first down. The marathon drive ends here as Love it goes airborne for six. Denver, why arc? Okay, it's a different look. It's that inside zone. Great job. It's Garbers. Oh, hog tied. Pita says, take a seat. It's a five point lead for St. Louis as they get the ball back. Ryan Santoso kicks it away. Darius Shepard from just outside his 10. And Shepard across the 35. There goes Darius Shepard into plus territory. And he's finally dragged down. Darius Shepard was the XFL Special Teams Player of the Year last season. This season, he leads the United Football League, the UFL, in all-purpose yards. Why? Because the special teams game. The kickoff is from the... And the kick is good. In the win at Memphis. 
Pass complete. McCarron, that ball is out. Darius Phillips falls on it. How to get into the end zone. We saw last week a fumble recovery that helped this team win. This week, forced fumble and fumble recovery. Week one, he had an 88-yard interception return. It's Garbers. That's going nowhere. Chris Payton Jones blows it up before it can start. Chris Payton Jones, undrafted free agent 2019, 2018 from the Detroit Lions. Ready, ready, set. This from 32. And the former Minnesota Golden Gopher knocks it through. Schmidt hit from 44 earlier. This from 54. Does it have enough? You bet. Back to eight. This presentation of the UFL will continue after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. Latimer scored the game-winning touchdown at Memphis last week. Garbers 4-4 on this drive. Hands to McFarland here around the left side. Touchdown! The former Pittsburgh Steeler. Fourth round pick for Pittsburgh in 2020. He started last season. Anthony McFarland Jr. is great in space. They talk about his speed, but that time he actually Baiting the rush only for a moment. Jacob Sykes twists him down and the Alamo Dome is rocking. When you hear naked, that means no one is going to be protecting you as a quarterback. Sykes slides down the line, takes a great angle, hands up, and is able to get the sack. There's that cheat is set with no running backs. McCarron needs a deep one. He has got it. Butler skies for it. First down, Battlehawks. Oh. Hakeem the Dream. So he's 6'6". Look at the perfect placement of the ball. But more than anything, Hakeem Butler has, has had an opportunity to play. He starts on the gun with Sailors on his hip. Handoff to Jacob Sailors, and he finds some space. Sailors inside the 25. He'd give him 25. Look at this hole in the middle. So shout out to Panashuk. You see Steven Gonzalez, 74, making a hole. He was not touching to the... Five wide for McCarron. He is flustered, and the whistle blows. Andre Schmidt, perfect so far. This from 46 for a five-point lead. Schmidt, don't stink. Our best playmaker, got to get him the ball. Yeah. It's their third drive of the third quarter. They scored a touchdown and a field goal. There's Justin Smith, nowhere to go. We've seen crazy things happen. Well, his favorite target, Alex Millett, is on injured reserve, the center, out with a knee issue, so Wing boots it away. Shepard runs underneath it. He's got a head of steam, and he's got some space around the left side. What do you got, Brad Wing? Makes a big hit, and <laughs> look at the punter. Brad Wing, you talk about changing a field position. This is a perfect return. All you have to do is beat the punter, the punter beats you. Butler with six catches for 87 yards brings him into the red zone. It's Sailors around the left edge. Sailors finds a hole and walks in. Touchdown, Battlehawks. 19 yard sprint. Jacob Sailors, his first touchdown of the season. Conversion and then the touchdown. Look at this blocking up front. Great job by the tight ends. Jacob Sailors, one cut, too much speed, finds the end zone for the touchdown. McCarron to throw for it. Again, he checks it down, and again, they get the two. So this is the second time we've seen this play. A.J. McCarron, great eyes, throws it to Sailors. Here we go. Garbers just went over 100 yards for the day. On his 21st completion, a lean slips and falls. Third and goal. Garbers floats it. Max got it. Touchdown, San Antonio. We could be in store for some more drama drama here at the Alamo Dome. And gets the huge stop. But then, what got them even in that position? RPO. Could have kept it. You didn't. You see Alizé Mack coming across with this man-to-man -man defense. Hard to defend. Great job fading away by Chase Garbers. They're three for three on fourth down today. They need another to keep the game going. Incomplete. 
He was looking for John Trey Kirkland, and Anthony Beck can celebrate. Well, they finally got their fourth down conversion, and it seals a win. 31 to 24, St. Louis comes into San Antonio. They hand the Battlehawks their first loss of the year.